one, and I think today it's going to be an appropriate game to play. Star Wars Dark Forces. This is the remaster from Night Dow. That said, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's begin. Alright, prologue mission one. The Death Star Plans. Operation Skyhook. Phase two. Confidential message from Senator Mon Mothma. The Rebellion is counting on the completion of this mission, Commander Katan. I hope success is on your side. Now, the only thing I'm not so sure of is, uh, where in the Star Wars universe this takes place. The Death Star plans are locked away in an Imperial secret base on the planet Nanuta, where they await transport to Lord Vader. Very little is known about the layout of the base itself, so I'm afraid you'll have to act as your own reconnaissance. Once you have the plans, get out immediately. Operation Skyhook will deliver the plans to Princess Leia on the consular ship Tentive 4. She will then continue the mission. Alright, the objective is finally retrieve the Death Star plans and return to your ship on the roof of the base. Let's <laughs> go. 
your life. Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. Demonstration, General Monk. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's War will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. Well, that's a good thing they got the original one. With pleasure. Yeah, uh, Darth Vader. Dark Trooper, release. General, the Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. This is Tech Base to anybody out there. Please, we're under Imperial attack. There were no reason, there was no warning at all. Total devastation. They broke through our shield. They broke through our shield! Tech Base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. That was the first play. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer Crix Medin wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of Stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new Stormtrooper that can take out a Rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. Alright, mission two. TLA, attack base after the massacre. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good job on Operation Skyhook. The Rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to mission hopping, just like the old days. Rebel Command has made a brief reconnaissance of the area and it's swarming with Imperial activity. The power is still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. You'll need to find the main hydroelectric power generator to get it back online. The Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new Dark Trooper 
we've been hearing about through Kirk's Medin. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything you may pick up. Good luck, Kyle. So objectives. Find and restart hydroelectric power generator, find some clue to the dark trooper, and return to the landing area. Okay.
Alright. Mission 3. Anoad City, the subterranean hideout. That thing you found was a weapon of some sort. Too large for a human being to use. Most likely it's a prototype weapon for the Dark Trooper. I found the symbol MR on the barrel. The signature of an infamous weapon specialist named Moth Rebus. A real character known for his paranoia and extreme loyalty to the Empire. He may be our next lead to the Dark Trooper. Mission. Rebus has hidden himself somewhere deep within the sewage system under the city of An Anoad. He has engineered an elaborate series of drain gates which is designed to thwart any intruders from discovering a road to his lab. First, activate these switches, then your search for Rebus may begin. Beware, it is likely that Rebus has surrounded himself with guard droids, and the largely unexplored sewer maze may hold other dangers as well. Remember, we need both of you back alive. I'll have the decontamination shower warmed up and ready. Alright, so our mission objective? Find the Imperial Weapons Engineer, Mop Rebus.
it's good to know that there's two points of damage, physical and the laser.
secrets. I don't like it's on here before I get too uh, far ahead of myself. to uh
Alright, mission four, the planet fest. Imperial weapons research facility. Moff Rebus designed the prototype weapons for the Dark Troopers. He wouldn't reel much under questioning, but during one of his rants, he revealed, You should have seen the results of our tests on Fest. My weapons are going to put a lot of holes in a lot of rebel scum. Kirk Smedian has confirmed the existence of an Imperial weapons site on the planet Fest, doing metallurgical research on new alloys. Knowing what kind of metals they're using will give us def definite clues to the Dark Troopers. Mission. I'll drop you in an old landing area far outside the base surrounded by rocky cliff areas. Be careful. One bad move and you'll be a crater. The base itself is buried deep within the rock with an access control camera that protects it from a strong frontal attack. Find other openings that, that may provide easier entry. When you have completed your mission, I'll pick you up at the drop point. Otherwise, it's just like the way you like it, on your own. Mission objectives. Infiltrate the base and find some samples of the metal that they are testing. Return to the landing area.
七八段。
found some interesting looking metal. I think this may offer some important clues. That's all we need. Let's get out of here. I'm getting nervous. Blessing. Alright, time to get out of here. Spent enough time here in this place as is, so. What? What? Everything has been explored, though.
there's still a lot of unexplored area, and yet... The old saying goes, it's easy to get into trouble, but it's hard to get out of it. Gramas Mines, the Blood Moon. This metal you found is called Frick, a rare material that they must be using for armor, the Dark Troopers. I tracked the known sources of Frick and came across a selection of small moons in the Grama system. It's probably not a coincidence that the Empire has a mining facility in that very system. We need to take out the facility to slow down the Dark Trooper project and give us an edge over the Empire. At the main reactor, there is an exchange coupling that leads to the central power grid. Place the sequencer charge in this coupling and it will cause the facility to explode. Once the charge is laid, waste no time getting out of there. Locate the reactor and set the sequencer charge and get back to the ship.
useful an officer will no longer divulge any more information to that rebel, Kyle Katarn. Katarn will not be as easy to deal with. He is very resourceful. More resourceful, it seems, than even your dark troopers. I understand the threat, Lord Vader. Katarn was once an impressive Imperial officer, but he was weak and gave up on the struggle for our new order. I wouldn't put much faith in his abilities. Katarn will never come near this ship. My new hire will see to that. Uh, of that. Mission 6, Center. Imperial Detention Center. Arnak Gra corrects Benin's fate. Bandu's Kyle, our spy Chris Benin, has been captured. He's being held at the Imperial Detention Center on Arnakra and waiting execution. He has, he has been valuable in supplying us with information on the Dark Trooper, and I think we owe it to him to make a rescue effort. The Imperial Detention Facility is well well secured. Hard to get in, even harder to get out. Even harder to stay alive. There is a switch controlled shuttle carrier to the facility that will bring you to the main doors. Inside the complex, two main elevators access the lower prison blocks. One goes to the low security levels and down to the command center. The other leads to back up to the high security blocks where Chris Manning <clears throat> is being held in the end block. Each cell is locked with its own code card carried by an Imperial officer, so first you'll need to find the right card to Manning's cell. Since the high security blocks are controlled from inside the block, once the guards are alerted, it will be impossible to penetrate. I suggest you find an optional entrance into the high security block. You'll really be outnumbered here, so rely on stealth rather than firepower. Yeah, right.
X triangle and that weird shape thing.
close enough to kill myself. Enough silliness, back to seriousness.
Okay, so the force field is still active. But there has to be a switch nearby that'll allow me, allow me to get inside. Or at least I'm going behind.
are locked. Well, that is certainly nice that... That is certainly nice that there's more items.
does it stop where you want it to? Oh, there's a lot of batteries. Sucks. Ridiculous. The only thing I'm thinking of is... expected.
Of course, you always have to put the red key in one of the hardest spots ever in the history of hard spots. As if this level hasn't driven me mad enough. life. 
Oh, this is the last light. some more refreshments, but that's alright. Mission 7. Ramsey's Head Docking Port. Calcetti Deadly Cargo. Background. Frick's Mighty informs us that the leader of the Dark Trooper Project is a general named Ram Moak. You might remember him from your time with the Empire. A decorated soldier of the Clone Wars, Moak became very prominent during the Emperor's rise to power. 
He was one of the few generals to oppose the construction of the Death Star because of his distrust of any technology that separates the warrior from battle and engaging the enemy. He's absolutely obsessed with the honor of personal combat. Benin further reports that the Dark Troopers have three phases of construction. The first one is the Gromas Mines, which you so effectively blew to bits, where they mine the alloy resource, Frick. The resulting alloy is then transported to the robotics facility, where it is treated and refined. The alloy, the alloy is then taken to a special space cruiser, the Arc Hammer, where the final composition and assembly of the Dark Trooper takes place. The locations of the robotics facility and the Arc Hammer are still unknown. Our next focus will be, able, will be to find and destroy the robotics facility. General Malk has solicited the help of an underground kingpin, unknown to us at this time. This kingpin supplies Malk with smugglers to move his raw goods to the different facilities. Benin, before his capture, was able to find that one of the routes that the smugglers use starts from the Ramses Heat, a space force a space bar on the planet Calcetti. Placing this tracking device in the engine port at the rear of the smuggler ship should lead us straight to the robotics facility. Objectives, place the tracking device in the rear of the smuggler ship. Well, that's nice.
I think we're going to the bathroom and I ain't gonna rock it down.
all the keys. Yeah, they can't find it. The doors are out. Go figure. construction facility and TV ice station beta. I tracked the smuggler ship to a remote planet called Antv. This frigid planet is lifeless except for an imperial construction facility built beneath its icy surface. Huh, it's resident use Hoth. But anyways, place three sequencer charges in the exchange couplings located in the solution for the frink. This should disable the facility. Keep a careful eye out wherever you go. There are highly volatile chemicals used in this facility. I suggest that you find a breathing mask like those used by the Imperials to protect themselves. Also, I wouldn't put it past Monk to have stationed Dark Troopers in this facility. Battling a few Dark Troopers should warm you up after your walk through the snow. This is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna be protecting myself from snow.
all up the place. Hard to believe that uh, I died in the very area. And the funny thing is, I got the gas mask, but I don't know what happened. But you know what? You know what? At least I enjoyed myself here, you know? I mean, we did make some good progress, and I think this is a good way to end on it. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Anyways, um, happy Star Wars days, everyone. I'll see you all next time.